called Metal Slug. It's kind of an obscure one. One of those games nobody talks about on the Neo Geo. The second game by, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, the NASCA only released two games. Rising from the Ashes of uh, IRM's arcade division. After they released uh, Neo Turf Masters earlier in the year. They wanted to make a run and gun. And this game, I mean, I <laughs> I don't need to give this game a long intro. I think uh I think people know what this is, but I do want to talk like very briefly briefly. Why did I say that so weird? Very briefly about uh about this game's development cycle. Cuz this game went went through uh, like a lot of changes before before it finally got released on April 19th, 1996. So I just wanted to I just wanted to show this off very briefly. Or do some uh, uh just show the whole also the uh box art's pretty much the same. I don't even want to know like how how much like the home cartridges go for now, like an original Neo Geo home cartridge goes for because they they kind of like underproduced the number of home cartridges for this game and they were uh, like, even by the early 2000s, they were going for, like, I don't know, at least a couple thousand dollars, maybe more. I don't even want to think about about how bad it is on the, the retro game market. Why would you want to buy a home cartridge anyway? Just just spend eight bucks for it on the Arcade Classics archives. But, you know, some people just really want to have uh, have a box on their shelf. I oh, know when I look at eBay, I, I see like lots of conversions. Like people took like other cartridges and converted the ROMs just to, uh, uh, just to make a cheaper cartridge. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the actual original version. Yeah, we talked about Arrow Fires Three on the Arrow Fires Three stream. I told that story. But anyway, the uh, yeah, it took it took a while for this game to come out because this game was getting getting shown in Japanese magazines and also I think uh, one of the Japanese arcade shows in like September of uh, of 95 so this game was in development for a while but there was a uh, there was a major change with it you only played as the uh, the tank like uh, Marco and Tarma they weren't even in the game apparently Marco and Tarma were replaced with like other other protagonists named like uh Phil and Michiko or something. Player two being a girl. But yeah, like like these There's a uh, there's a site that has like a lot of pictures. I'll link that in a in a little bit, but uh, uh a lot of these come from like Japanese magazines where uh you know they were showing like early footage of the game. And yeah, you only played as the slug. I assume, like, on this early version, you probably died in one hit, just like in the hunt. Like, there's there's no health bar or anything, and that would that would feel like it would make the game really hard, you know? But yeah, there's, like, a, a lot of little changes. Also, the player two slug was actually, like, gold. Kind of blends in with the background a little bit there, but the, the gold slug, like, wasn't even used in the original game. They ended up using the gold slug on the... Uh, on the sequels, it's like a, a slug that jumps higher or whatever. But but yeah, there's some like there's some little changes. Also the uh the hostages were actually like other uh enemy soldier palette swaps. And like the enemy pal the enemy soldiers would like fight alongside you and stuff after you rescue them. Shit like that. Like there's a screenshot here where there's like a there's a soldier like riding on top of the slug, I guess like I think he's firing a bazooka shot, so he's like helps you out. So there was, yeah, it wasn't quite the same. But then, also, yeah, like a, a soldier can get into the into the turret on the final stage, which I don't know how many stages the prototype had because the uh, all the screenshots only show like the uh, only show like a few stages. Like I don't think there's like much in the way of like screenshots from stages two and three. I think it's mostly... Well, did they show stage 4? I don't know. But the biggest change... The biggest change... 
uh, I don't think it was on the original version that they that they showed, but this like came came like a month later in uh, in Gamist or one of those other or Neo Geo Freak or whatever. Uh, they changed the control scheme, and if if you've never seen the control scheme for the prototype version, uh, get ready for this. That's that's really small. Why did I not blow that up? Hold on a sec. So what this means is that up would actually jump, and instead you use the four buttons on the on the joystick or the four buttons on the the Neo Geo to fire in different directions. So you would be pressing the A button to fire to the right, B button to fire up, C button to fire left, D button to fire down, and then combinations of buttons would would fire in different directions. Yeah, I guess so, you know, you could you could move in one direction and fire in another. <laughs> this is what's, that had to confuse the fuck out of people at the location tests. Cuz that is that is a fucking awful idea. <laughs> that is fucking awful. There had to be like so many so many confused players that were like, "Why can't I just press up to fire up? Up is jumping." And I think like the the comments on the uh, uh, on the preview and whatever magazine it was in says, oh, this this control scheme might change before the final. Yeah, try try to hit A and B at the same time just to fire down right, and you're probably gonna like have to fire down right every now and then. Good lord, so. I mean, yeah, it's it's not that complicated if you know you you take some time to like practice it and get used to it but for anybody just like walking up to the cabinet and playing it for the first time they're gonna if they don't watch the how to play screen they're they're not gonna know what the fuck they're doing yeah most cabinets have all the buttons in a row with the the a button being like slightly lower so you can kind of hit it with your thumb if you have to hit all four buttons but yeah it's a good thing they changed that. Uh, this is just another screenshot. I don't know why I had this one. But then there was like a... Uh, if you look closely at this screenshot, you can see like a health bar at the top of the screen. <laughs> and 99 lives. I don't know if that was just a a debug cheat or whatever. But um, actually, no, you can set 99 lives in the soft dip. So, so maybe at some point you were supposed to have a health bar for the uh, for the tank. But the original versions, it didn't look like they had a health bar. And yeah, I think these were supposed to be the uh, the original characters. Character on the right kind of looks like Fio. But we never we never saw Phil and Michiko again. But anyway, if you want to look at more more screenshots, I'm gonna link this in chat. I'm gonna have to remember to put this in the YouTube video too. But there's a there's a lot more screenshots of the uh, of the prototype version of Metal Slug. Unfortunately, there is no there is no ROM dump. A cartridge of this has never been found. Like I would think, there has to be at least one out there. Considering they were showing this in magazines, they must have shown this at uh, they showed this at an arcade show. But yeah, uh, you know how hard it is to get a hold of Neo Geo prototypes, right? And if somebody did have one, they wouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> they wouldn't be sharing it with the world. Because most of them are scumbags. Anyway. Metal Slug. Super... Oh, that's part of the title. I should add that in. Let's play it. Super Vehicle 001. Alright, my controls are... Yep, I'm good. Get an audio check real fast. Metal slug. This game seemed really loud when it was in game. Thank you. That's pretty good, I think. Oh yeah, there was another screenshot showing the those electric pillars had been replaced with like. These giant mines? Or something? I don't know. Okay. 
as usual, let me know if things are too loud. All right, Nazca Corporation. All right, let me make sure everything's set. Blood is on. <laughs> Don't yell at me. I know, they, they totally ripped off IRM. They totally ripped off the graphical style. How dare they rip off Gun Force 2. Oh my god, a, a dignified control scheme. Move and shoot. Jump to onboard the enforced metal slug. Hey, B button still jumps when you're in it. Yeah, they didn't have the. Uh... They're still not. They're they're not going to use the D button for a while in these slug games, unfortunately. A and B to stage a frontal attack. That's all the controls you need to know. Thank you. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention, yeah, uh, uh, the cutting room floor has a has a bunch of the unused stuff that was in that was in the other uh, ROMs in this game, like a bunch of uh, leftovers from the the prototype version. Definitely worth taking a look at that too. All right, well, here's the thing about flamethrowers in video games: they're either really good or really bad. The flamethrower in the original Metal Slug? Very bad. It kind of got buffed later, but in this game, mmm, avoid. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think it's part of official Gun Force canon, but yeah, this falling, a falling object can kill you. I don't even need more heavy machine gun. Oh, and there it is, the, uh... Oh! Yeah, I just hit A and B together. <laughs> that's the, uh... That's the reason you need the D button. I usually don't do that, but... Hey, we're gonna make this, uh... We're gonna make this more interesting for this stage. Kind of fat fingered it. Oh well. Some hidden hostages up here. Every stage has at least ten hostages. Also, uh, Dumplechon, thank you for the uh, for the resub. Sorry about that. Thank you. Yeah, because A and B is the uh, the button combo that launches the metal slug at the enemy. Sometimes you you jump and fire. You're gonna. You're gonna trigger it on accident. It's happened to tons of people. Anyway, first boss. If I had the slug, I could use more. Could use more bombs, but there we go. Hey, Infinite Spark! Thank you uh, very much for the Switch Prime. Thank you very much for the sub. Yeah, it is. It is the same composer as Neo Turf Masters, of course. Hiya. Yeah, clearly A and B needs to shoot up and to the right. <laughs> that would be much better. Ancient Flounder, thank you for the 48 months. Four bongo birthdays. Thank you for the reset. Yeah, you get a you get a 100,000 point bonus if you uh, if you save at least 10 hostages. Get the kitty. And yeah, one thing I've always appreciated about this game is that you don't, uh, uh, you don't die when you run into enemies. So there's no, there's not much danger in, like, getting near them for a, uh, a close range attack. You can get run over by tanks. Tanks hurt. Okay, we'll pick up the flamethrower once. The only time that the, the flamethrower is, like, kind of kind of useful, but it doesn't really get used much. You get to see that cool animation. Anyway, run to the right. Get that item before it falls. It's a guaranteed 50,000.
game's got a lot of a lot of little secrets, although it's not really much of a secret. Yeah, they pronounce it Rocket Launcher in this game, sorry. You get a lot of Rocket Launcher shots. Keep that. You can actually climb into the on the boat and get the item, but and unfortunately, it is a video game, so poor Marco here doesn't know how to swim. This part does kind of kind of slow down the stage a little bit. Got to get the shotgun. The shotgun behaves a little differently in this game than it does in the, uh, the sequels. For one thing, it causes an awful screen flash, but it also just kind of launches enemies off the screen, which is pretty satisfying. And it does a grip of damage. And Sherlock, thank you for the 43 months. See that bush down there? Like if you keep the shotgun here, there's a there's a mid boss that's supposed to be it's supposed to take a lot of damage, but six shots take it out. That wasn't the boss though. Gotta go fast there before that guy starts throwing the, the bowling balls. Oh, I have to kill that soldier. All right, let's let's not blow up the slug immediately this time. Go, 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 go. Okay, so if you pick up the, the bomb item when you're in the tank, it gives you cannon shots. But if you get out of it, you can get bombs. And when you're in the slug, if you hold down, you actually replace the cannon shot with your grenades, and you can actually throw your grenades out faster than you can, like, normally. Anyway, here's the actual second boss. This is the worst attack. If you hit down and jump, you get iframes when you jump out. So this is a good way to... It's a classic tactic for... Oh my god, what is this guy doing? Three times in a row? There's kind of some RNG here with what, uh, what patterns they decided to do. Four times in a row! I'm going for the world record. Let's make it five. Damn. Ah, oh, there's another one. Alright, I'm just gonna keep firing. He'll stop eventually once he's taken enough damage. Alright, now, now we bomb spam. <laughs> These bombs aren't even hitting, it doesn't matter. I've got so many bombs. Bomb spam is very strong, it's uh... Something they uh... They sort of regretted about the game and... Kind of change some bosses in, in later games, but oh, we're talking about the first game tonight. Sherlock, yeah. <laughs> I, I would say I've played this a few times. Because I know everybody's got their opinions on what the best and worst slug games are, but I gotta focus on the original game tonight. Alright, hopefully I don't fuck up any jumps here. I've been missing jumps on this stage, and it, it pisses me off. Uh -oh. yeah, stage 3 starts starts vertically. This is up there, we go. Oh, I forgot the, the envelope. I think that was worth like 500 points. Look, I'll, I'll save all the, all the slander about 3 until... <laughs> 
until we get to it. I don't even want to think about that game right now. Ooh, extra ammo. Heavy machine gun. Okay, can I make the stupid jump? I made it. And there he is. Alan O'Neill. He shows up quite a bit. My strat is always just hang out in the corner. You always jump up, jump back down. Unless he decides to do that. No, 3 has problems other than the final. I, I, I said I'm not going to get into it. Anyway. I can not I can remember like the first time I played this cuz it was on a uh, it was on a trip to California to visit our uh, our cousins, but I also uh, got to hang out with some other folks there and we went to uh, I think it was like every Saturday the uh, the arcade at the uh, the UCLA uh, they had like a, a free play night. And they had just gotten they had just gotten this this game called Metal Slug and we we played all the way through it on free play and it probably took us like 20, 25 continues each. I thought it was pretty fun. And then like uh, I think like maybe a couple weeks later, like it did it did show up at the uh, the local arcade where I lived. Oh, we got the random guy flying towards the screen. Two of them. The ultimate thing with the 100 bits. And when my local arcade got it, I... I think, like, over the course of that summer... I spent a... Spent a fair amount of time trying to... Trying to learn the ins and outs of the game to, to 1cc it. Thank you. And eventually I did. And I was very happy about that. And then I couldn't stop there. I also wanted to, uh... Wanted to take all ten high scores on the uh, on the cabinet, and I did that. I did that too, and I had all ten scores in that cabinet for. They actually kept like that one slot with Metal Slug. They never changed it out for like years and years, until like 2003 when this piece of shit game called SVC Chaos came out. They finally they finally put something else in the cabinet. But I always thought it was funny. I just had all I had all ten high scores on it and. Nobody ever got on that board. I'm not gonna get all ten hostages on this stage unless I stall on the boss. Thank you. That's alright. Yeah, SVC Chaos was the uh, was the scourge of the early 2000s. The funny thing is, like, I didn't even know like the uh, the really degenerate score tech yet for for Metal Slug. Like, I didn't know the, uh, the stage 5 thing. If they reset the scores every day, then the battery's probably dead. Because I, I doubt they'd do it on purpose. Got uh, eight. No 100k bonus for me. Mission complete. But yeah, over the years, if I ever saw, if I ever saw this game in a Neo Geo, I always felt obligated to to play a credit of it, put a high score up. Where am I supposed to stand for the hostages? Did I did I go too far? There was somewhere where you could just like stall and like some planes come out and hostages drop. I always forget where it is. Forget it. Not important. They gave you the slug really early in the stage. 
Every stage has at least one slug. You can actually get a second one. If you lose it early. So there's sometimes a secret up here that I... It is the start of the stage. Fuck. <laughs> I, I thought it was. I, I always, like, move right away and then I forget. Oh, yeah, I could... I could probably get some more hostages if I just stall there. Uh, I can't touch that, that hostage. <laughs> Come on. If I get out of the slug... There you go. So now I can't get the... Actually, wait, no, I can do this. There we go. So these cliffs, you can shoot them, the tank drops down. If the tank collides with your slug, it's an instant KO. And you have to get out. Even though usually everything in this game does like one point of, or one third of life bar damage to the, to the slug. That'll kill it instantly. So uh, don't do that. Uh, if we're not playing for score, I'll just blaze on through. I got bombs, it's fine. Yeah, the... Like Lick Arcade was saying, this, these games have a very, uh... Had a very big, like, speedrunning following. I've never actually played this game for... For speedrunning, though. I just like doing casual 1cc's. Stage is kind of short. Yeah, don't worry, Synthal Razor. I got the I got a save state for that. Uh, do I want cannon shots? I can do two more bombs. This boss has a funny strat. If you still have the slug, anyway. Just hold down left, hit A and C over and over. Actually, I guess I was hitting bomb too soon, huh? I don't want that hostage. <laughs> that guy was still running around. Once again, I did not hit the... Hit the 10 total for the 100k bonus, but that's fine. I'm not mad. Don't write down in the newspaper that I got mad. Yeah, that tactics game got delayed to, to next year, I think. Yep, got saved the kitty. A lot of destruction in the stage. Oh, there's a butt in the background. Uh oh, the underwear fell off. We get extra one-ups. None of the slug games have extra lives. There are no extends in these games. I don't know why that was a decision on their part, but it kind of stayed consistent across the entire series. Oh god. I hate those goofy rockets. Fortunately I can't get those items because I blew up the car. But they're just they're just points. More hotches up here. Okay. Thank you. Again they give you the slug kinda early. Do I want, uh... I want cannon or bomb. 
Why not both? Oh, well, now we crush the cars. So this stage is the uh, the big stage that I didn't know about for for point leeching. Basically, you gotta you gotta keep going until this enemy base shows up. It's like under this light, and if you stand right here, uh, that base never gets blown up. So you can just keep shooting it with the slug for 100 points a pop. But you have to remember to like actually get out of it before time runs out, because if you're in the slug when time runs out, the slug blows up, along with you inside it. So you have to do this, eject before the timer hits zero, <laughs> and then get back in the slug and do it again for your second life. Spend the entire second life doing this, and then on the third life, you do it some more, <laughs> and then try to finish the rest of the game. But yeah, just knowing this tactic, like, my high score went from, like, 1.5 million to, to 2.4 million. It's worth way too many points. Like, back in the day, like, I could... All my scores were in, like, the 1.4 million to 1.5 million range. And then I see that, like, the, the world record is, like, above 3 million. I'm like, where do, where do the rest of the points come from? Like, I know you can stall in some areas, but... Boy, I didn't know it was that bad. But yeah, it can't be said enough. Don't play these games for score. That's right, I need the bomb spam so I don't have to fight this guy. Ha! Ball goes. I have a feeling I'll be seeing this boss again at some point in the future. Alright, bomb spam time. Yep, ow. A little slow down. Uh-oh. Goodbye, slug. Oh, I have no more bombs. That's fine. No problem. Keeping the vehicle to the end of the stage only gives you 10,000 in this game. They they upped it to 100k for the, the normal slug in part 2. And other vehicles give, like, different amounts. But there are no different vehicles in this game. There's only one. Only the slug. I got the same make from a distance. Yeah, I guess shotgun's good for this part. Not this part, the part after. Yeah, shotgun kind of sucks for this part. Come on. Fuck you guys. So you can get different different enemies depending on if you go from the top platform or the bottom platform. I usually go bottom. That's like the hardest part of the stage right there. Okay, I need to get rid of the shotgun. Sorry about the screen flashing. Oh, I probably could use it on that. Thank you. 
That guy can't be shot until he fires. Yeah, I just, I just like shooting everything from a distance here. I just forgot about that other... That other tank. Oh. Uh oh! That tank is still alive. How much health does this thing have? Alright, these are a lot of bombs there, that's right. I got lucky with some of that dodging. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you can get in the, the turret here, but those bombs can actually kill you, and then you have to jump out. Jump out early so I can take care of these guys. Hold on. Slow down is real. All right, they're all going in one direction. Nav's nerded anything for the 73 months. Uh -oh. I should have jumped that. Oh, I don't want to be on that. I'm so much for the no miss. I saw that one streamer who tried to use a strat and he couldn't do it right. Okay, now I got the slug. So I should be fine. Yeah, I, I jumped off the, the turret too soon. What? Why am I jumping in there? Way too many hits there. Did I grow up playing Retro Classics? I... I'm very old, yes. <laughs> Extra hostages. But they fell in the water. Oh, but now I can't get the... Okay. Should not have taken two hits leading up to this. Gonna make this next part a little, a little dicey. Son of a bitch! Okay. I get to do the last boss without the slug. Okay. Don't get knifed by these guys. Oh, they tried. They tried. Luckily, I, I gotta use these bombs. Oh, I'm try I didn't move the screen all the way to the right, really. Alright, Morden, it ends here. There's now the... Oh god, what the... My problem is I can't use the invulnerability to... escape these missiles. Probably shouldn't be like this low or this high up on the platform. And all my bombs, fuck it. Nice.
Yeah, I should have done that just so he could, like, do the... Get that one done. Dude, that's easy to dodge. Nah, that's like the first time I haven't one CC'd this in a while. Whatever. Some bad mistakes. I have one CC'd this plenty of times. You can you can see it on on YouTube. It's all right. It's not a big deal. So what happens when you take too many hits with the slug early? It's been so long since I've like actually had to do this strat without the without the slug. I've forgotten what to do. Uh, Captain Sledge, thank you for the for the 59 months. Thank you, the ultimate for the quarter. Yeah, usually this is like close to a guaranteed one CC, but not tonight. Oh well, it happens. Oh, and Adam, thank you for the, for the 330 max mega bits. I'm not signing my name on that bullshit. So as mentioned before, this game actually has two different endings. And the the ending you get for... There's one, end, one ending for finishing it solo. And then one for finishing with a second player. And the solo ending is pretty depressing. There's dead bodies everywhere. Hey, war is heck. Why did the guy, like, throw a paper airplane anyway? Damn, I caught an updraft. Hiya, Jim. Now it's going, like, out of order. It went from, like, stage 5 to stage 1 to stage 2. Some lady lost her hat. The bridge got reformed. Space. Yeah, we gotta have some scaling. It's a Neo Geo game. It's illegal to release a Neo Geo game without scaling. So, let me, uh... Ignore the blatant cheat I used to, like, finish the final stage immediately. 
This is the ending if you uh, finish the game with two players, and if you play it on the Japanese BIOS, you get a little something extra. You get a karaoke song. And you you better know how to read Japanese because they don't have the uh, they don't have the vocals. Three, two, one, go! Oh, kitty. But yeah, they, they took out the karaoke part in the uh, the English version, of course. But yeah, so it's a happy ending. If two players finish the game. Stop! Hold you still! Everybody's fine. They're all dancing. And there's the gold slug, which you which you can't use in this game. Wow, how selfish. in the Neo CD port. I'm not sure. Better than the Strata Bowling song. Wait, let's, let's not say things we can't take back. Of course, Morden's still alive. Strata bowling, strata bowling. Oh yeah, then the the Neo CD version might have it then. Peace forever. Yeah, it's the hit of the '90s, the latest craze. All right. Well, I do want to want to look at the Neo CD version. Give me a second. Oop. How do I do this again? There we go. File manager. Load. Because yeah, they added some stuff to the Neo CD version. Got the juggling monkey. Where my control set? I think it was. It doesn't save like on a per game basis. So I had to I had to play through this off stream to uh, unlock the the combat school stuff because this version has a uh, has a mode called combat school. Which requires you to finish the game at least once. Option. There's an art gallery. Okay. Oh, it has to load. I'm speeding this up. Welcome to art gallery. Like... That's gonna be 
the intro. Oh yeah, you can early design. Can you zoom in? Can't zoom in. These images kind of don't compress very well. Oh man, I got a submarine Middleson. Is this the the wreck submarine in stage one? <laughs> Dick Kaka. Melty honey. Let's say bolt. Bolchon? What? what? Bolchon. But yeah, you got an art gallery. Hammer Yang. Land Seek. Rebel Army fighting Heli Arshobu. Mini Bata. Hair Buster Riverts. Tanio. Shu and Karn. Uh, Haido. There's the Melty Honey. Wait, there's two Melty Honeys? That's the same Melty Honey. There's so many Melty Honeys. There's the Dick Kaka. Alright, well. Where's my select button? There it is. What do I want it to do? Polish off your combat skills. You ready to join combat training? Yes. Wow, you're eager, but you'll have to sign up at the office before you can start training. Joining the army and discharge from army. Let's get the paperwork over with. Okay. My name is Cockboat. So oh, tell me and oh no <laughs> now everybody finds out how old I am. Uh. And you'd better tell me your blood, R H, just in case. I don't know. <laughs> sure, whatever. You, sh you sure sound like a man, but what is your true sex? Ah, I'm not even touching that one. Okay. I... No comment. Let's use the stage and see how fast you can clear it. You want to try it alone or in pairs? So this is just a time attack. The absolute thick forest. Controls are set. Ah, oh, sweat's turned on. Actually, I don't even know if there's a uh, blood toy for this. Oh, you have infinite machine gun. Let's see. That's and it's got splits. Wow. Oh yeah, so it does have the gold slug. I can only take one hit. So there's no fuel pickups. Thank you. Uh. Thank you. Oh, bam. Hey. hey, one ten thirty six. Is that good? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, it was stage one. Good job, Cockboat.
Yeah, I'm amazed it has, like, splits. The evaluation points have increased from 0 to 110. Oh man, we're going up there. Much more is expected of you. So survival... You only have one life. And you don't start stages, so... Hmm. I'm gonna have to, like... I don't know if I want to do this now. I should just do another speed attempt on one of the other stages to get more ranking points. And then distance. Alright, you get infinite ammo again. You're not fine, so... I mean, I have finished the arcade version on one life, but as you saw, like, I, I had that meltdown last time. Oh, and you don't get slugged, so yeah, I guess I, I do need straps for the, uh, <laughs> for Morden. It is a little bit tougher, though. Run over by a tank. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Do I want rocket launcher? You get infinite ammo. Oh, it doesn't even care about the, uh, the hostages you saved. <laughs> yeah, infinite drop shot. What everybody wants. I wish for a morning glow. Yeah, you did keep your... Oh. So if you get the shotgun, you can just, like, keep the shotgun for the next stage. Also, good thing I'm picking up points. There's no, there's no score counter. Bonuses. Probably didn't earn. Oh, also, yeah, you keep your your bomb total. Huh. So now maybe you don't want to bomb spam every boss. Also, yeah, that's gonna change the, the stage forward boss battle, because I always use that one strat. I just use the slug to, to ride the corner. Can't do that anymore. Yeah, fuck, let's get shotgun. Oh, but that means lots of screen flashing. It's kind of obnoxious. But it does so much damage. Yes, I, I already know about the top rank reward. You don't need to spoil it. I'm not going to say it, though. Well, it kind of 
felt like the shotgun was doing less damage there. Oh god. Oh god. Come all this way and get killed by a bowling ball. Oh, this is maybe not a good weapon for this part. How the fuck do you do this far out? <laughs> over here, I guess. Shotgun doesn't reach down there. Six kilometers, 900 meters. Yeah, it's got cast register count up. That was supposed to be a, a gas canister there, but the metal slugs don't exist in this mode. In this mode of metal slugs. What's the rocket gonna do? Whoop. No! <laughs> okay, yeah, this is tricky. We'll have some more attempts in this later. Maybe shotgun was not the, the right call for the, that boss. I only got 30 points for that? Time attack is where all the points are. But no, let's not do stage two. Let's do, uh, let's do stage four. I just played stage two. Death Valley on the Ridge 256. Isn't that the, the system and let it die? That guy has bombs up there, but yeah. Fuck it. Heavy machine gun. Also, there is a second slug on the stage, so if I lose it, as long as it's before that one point, I, I get cover. Oop, not dead. Oh, you little shit. Well, I'm fucked now. Okay, now I get to practice the... The boss grass, I guess. Oh. A reward for top rank? Well, I want to try to earn it myself, but we got other games to play tonight. I feel like just doing the time attack is going to get you, like, most of the way there. Maybe we'll mess around with this some more after the, uh, after the bonus time stuff. We do have a bonus game tonight. How about a celebration on the way home? No, I don't have a... I don't have a save state for this, because I wanted to do the... I didn't want to, like, do all this off-stream. And this is Neo CD, so I don't have cheats. So we got personal results. 
Okay, Cockboat's results have awoken your interest, huh? Wait, what is the little... Oh, do you get more points for, like, finishing it on one life? Is that what the little dude means? Yeah, you gotta not die, okay. You come back now, I'll be waiting for you. Ah, oh, but yeah. Survival mode without, uh, without slugs, that's tough. I don't think there's really, like, anything... Let's go back to the art gallery. Characters. Nothing else is, like, really too different in this port. Like, the music is still... still the same. Welcome to Art Gallery. Marco Rossi. 2005-413. What? Does this take place in the future? That's a, that's a good tarma face. Bros. <laughs> what, what, what is going on here? What's with the, uh... The, the border? Hmm, <laughs> gas. What am I looking at? I think that's a good face at the that it's zooming in on. I I can't tell. It's it's so it's scaled down so shittily. Like it's cool they included all this art, but man. Oh, there's the uh the unused guy. There they are. The, uh, from the prototype. With glasses and without. Hell yeah, climb that ladder. I hate those goofy missiles. Ugh, look at those hairy legs. I don't like that. Alan O'Neill. Come on! Miss me! <laughs> what the fuck? That font looks familiar, by the way. There's the hostage. Look for prisoner of war. I will. Metal Slug Infantryman. Oh, it's just playing all the music in order, huh? Look at that knee. And there's the girl from the from the two player ending. She gets her she gets her own special. Early design Sophia. She's got boobage. Oh, she's got like a like a race queen outfit or something. That would have been cool. Man, they really went in on the, uh, instructor. It's sort of a Leona look, huh? That was the final version. Man, they're, they're pushing Sophia to the moon. face. Good face. Martrius Dennis Rossi. Nationality, Idaho, USA. Hobby, computer, priming. 
Favorite dish, Chinese special ability, right past of Subwa, manner of Suikin. What? I didn't want to put the text on front. You can probably, like, remove this with one of those emulators that has uh, support for removing sprite layers. Marco and Tarma. Um, look at the shape of Alan's head at the top right. Holy shit. It's like a, a xenomorph. Uh -oh, Marco's dissolving. Tarmacol uh, something from Japan. Position Perger. Tarma didn't get much uh, time in the limelight, huh? See you in the hell. <laughs> oh, is the prisoner doing the the suck Joe thing? <laughs> He's dead. Rikishi! The prisoner got beat up by Hose Mendoz. Oh god, you can't show that on Twitch. Ah. Oh, Mrs. O'Neill. He's got a wife. She's never really mentioned in the game. <laughs> That's gonna be the thumbnail on the on the VOD on Twitch now. <laughs> it's gonna be clickbait. Who the fuck are you? Special madams? Ugh! I don't like this at all. It's off my screen. Young Morden. That's young? So it looks like he's like 50. Welcome to the bathroom. There's flies everywhere. Gross. Marco and Tarma. Man, they sure did have a lot of art produced for this. Special anti court special madams Gerhard is infiltrated by a large number of female special agents disguised as housewives. Although they are housewives on the inside, on the, on the outside, they are true combat professionals on the inside. During the Gerhard personal invasion, they dodge enemy bullets like a torrential rain and led Marco and Tarma to the center of the city. Wow! Hidden lore. Who knew? Man, sexy Tarma. When did when did Sophia get a scar? Why does she have a skull earring? <laughs> Does he know? <laughs> what was he cooking? Oh my god, there's, there's so many... So many good faces. Wow. Good evening. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's the... Uh... Oh. I don't like her teeth. And... Alright. That's more than I was expecting to see here. Yeah, they were just... They were going ham. Okay, what the heck is others? Speed it up, please. Welcome to Art Gallery. So this is just this is just backgrounds and stuff. Absolute thick forest. All right, well, this is interesting, but not as funny. Death Valley. Oh yeah, they they do use some of this art in the, the end credits, huh? In the sequels. That's fucking final stage. God damn it. <laughs> There's the end 
though. Oh. What are you doing here? Oh, look at that cat. Oh, he's... Oh, I thought he was peeing on his, his knee. What's, what's he peeing on? Holy oh, shoot. Let's take it in the butt. <laughs> ah, they, they really like Sophia. Oh, she, she beat his ass. <laughs> There's Bikini Sophia. Well, somebody else gets shot. There's Lele Sophia. Good lord, they went... <laughs> they went in so hard! Yeah, Popful Sophia. here. Wow. Uh, gender bent Marco. I'm going to see him to Kayla Falls guy. Yeah. Nobody like you. Anybody hate you. General Morden! <laughs> Anybody hate you! Oh, that that enemy isn't even in this game. Ugh. What? Uh, over... Over the Earth? Is that what it's... Yeah. The world is mine! Ugh! Ugh. Ugh! What, what is going on with his nipples? Ugh. Uh, what? What? Yeah, all of a sudden it... <laughs> it's a face map. Oh, this is... Yeah, I don't know why these are in others instead of characters. I wish... I wish some of these... Yeah, what is this? Good question. Kazap! He just got a fucking huge chunk blown out of his side. Uh... Is this another unused Sophia? What is... Final weapon. Does not appear in this game. Uh, I can barely read anything on this screen. More titty missiles. I guess they wanted like a. They must have been planning like a titty missile boss or something. Training officer. Right. Let's get. I can't read any of this shit. Sophia with the with the scar again. One of those teddy bears you can pick up. And the doll. See you again. Others oh, end. Oh, I'll take the slug out for a walk. That's cute. Pick it up. Select. Teddy bear anywhere on the battlefield. It tends to be a stuffed animal that has fallen, but is actually a means of communication for the Borden army. Stuffed toy with confidential documents. The color is a high point. <laughs> if you say so, game. Yeah, that's... We went on a journey. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Thank me. Wowie, wow, wow. The Ultimo. Thank you for the, for the 100 bits. All right, I think it's uh, I think it's time to rank this. It seems like the the Neo CD and PS One versions are like pretty similar. 
in terms of uh, like the bonus stuff they put in. Let's just do stage one music going. All right, let me let me see if I crop this right. Hold on. Ah, there we go. All right, what do y'all think? One, 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 definite one, 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 one or two, one, 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 one. Top three at least. One, one, two, one, 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 one. Thirty-five. Or I had to eat trolling. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna put this to a poll just just to make this official. Oh yeah, we're not at the top of the spreadsheet. There we go. Sorry about that. When it's for number one, we gotta make these things official. So please, uh, please vote in the poll we I just put into chat. I don't think there was, uh... Oh, my chat box isn't showing up on stream. Whoa, OBS, like, handles this differently now. I'm on, like, the newest version of OBS. It's only capturing that window. Usually I could, like, drag my other window in front of it, and it would... It would show up. Oh, it is showing up on stream? It's not showing up on my OBS window. I was on Windows 7, yeah. I'm on Windows 10 now. Yeah, the actual window with the poll. Well, I like to show that just to show that I'm not like making shit up for the uh, for the archive. But uh, for what it's worth, the voting on whether this should be number one or not, eighty percent said yes. <laughs> so I can't. Uh, you know what? Yes, I agree. I was trying not to say anything, but yes, I agree. This it's it's a classic. It started. Uh, it started the whole franchise, and I think it still. It still holds up really well. I think it's still the best game in the series. Obviously, everybody has different opinions on what the best game in the Slug series is, but uh, but for now, with everything that's been released, this is pretty much overwhelmingly, almost overwhelmingly agreed upon that this is number one. So I think this will this will be in the number one slot for at least a little while. For a good while. What is going to be better? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, some would say KOF 98. I'm very biased. I, uh... <laughs> when we get to the end of 97, it's going to be... My heart is going to break in two. Over, over what ends up happening, but... You know how I feel. But yeah, for now, Metal Slug is gonna be in like it has to be in like at least the top three to like the very end of the stream or the very end of the the series. Like, yeah, what's gonna beat it? Come on, come on. KF ninety six when it comes along to top it, I I strongly disagree with that. <laughs> 